Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about pickup truck tents. That's right, we've got a full-size automatic pop-up truck tent that we're gonna be setting up today. I'm gonna to show you how to set it up and why I think it's pretty cool. Let's get into the video. Oh. All right, so as you can see, this Hickpea tent comes in a nice bag, a nice carrying case. It's about four feet long, and uh, it is perfect for a full-size truck bed. I'm gonna use it in my six and a half foot bed, but it is it will fit in a five and a half foot bed and all the way up to an eight foot bed. So uh, let me give you some measurements of the bag. All right, so the bag is roughly 47 inches. That's three foot 11 inches long. And it's roughly seven inches by seven inches. All right, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so as you can see, you've got the instructions that are sewn into the bag itself, so that's nice, so you don't have to worry about losing it. There. All right, so there's the tent, and here is the rain fly, and then here is a cargo net that goes on the top, too. Very, very nice. Let's unroll this thing. That's nice, you've got these little, little straps here that have a little buckle, I love that. Let's set those over here. Now you wanna make, when you're setting this thing up, you wanna make sure and get the door on the back of the pickup bed. Just saying. I'm gonna scooch this thing forward a little bit. Here's the very top of the tent right here. And then I'm gonna get in the truck and then we're gonna pop this thing open. Then we just take the poles and fold them out like so. Do the back ones first. That was extremely easy. Let me show you a close up. As you can see, it's taken shape already. All right, and then right up here on the very top, we are gonna pull down this here in the center. That's the hub and that's gonna lock all these legs into place. Okay, after we got the top done, uh, locked into place, the next thing that we're gonna do is take the legs that are closest to the back window of your pickup truck now we're gonna lift those up and rest and rest them on the rail of the truck bed like this. Now they they come with these straps here, so it has a little hook here on the end, and that little hook is gonna hook on the fender underneath here on the metal of your, your truck bed to secure the tent down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Take the hook, and just attach it to the metal, and once you have it hooked, you just Pull on this here to tighten it up. Okay, let's go do the other side now. All right, now we're on the other side. We're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna lift up the leg, grab this strap here, and we're gonna secure it to the bottom of the fender. All right, now these straps are nice and soft and the hooks are made out of plastic, so you're not gonna scratch your paint or anything like that. Same thing, we take this strap here and pull it and secure those front legs to the top of the bed. As you can see, it's sort of taking shape here. We've got this side and the other side mounted to the top of the rail for the, the pickup bed. And now we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, now we're back to the back side of the pickup bed. And again, it's got some straps here too. So we wanna secure the bottoms of these legs down here. And uh, the strap, you could just find a place here on your bumper, hook that too. And uh, same sort of deal like we did on the sides up on the front. We're just gonna ratchet strap this down until that is secure. Now I'm not gonna get it too snug yet in, in case I gotta make some final adjustments, but let's go to the other side now. All right, now we're on the other side of the back. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna ratchet strap this one down to the bumper. It's a little windy out here. But 
I'm doing it in the wind. It's really not bad at all. It's, it's easy enough for one person to do this, no problem. Okay, so now that's secure. Now we've got some telescoping legs that are on the back here that we're gonna lift up so we can get that center height up to six feet. Let's do that next. Okay, so on this uh, tent here, you'll see these nicely marked yellow buttons. And if we press those, we can actually extend up the roof. And it just automatically locks into place here. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so same thing on this side. We're just gonna lift up and get the height of the tent raised all the way up until it snaps into the locking place. Right like that, very sturdy. Okay, next step. Okay, now that we have the front and the back tied down, there are also additional straps here right in the middle to secure it even more. So if it's kind of windy like it is today, you can just snap it like this and tighten it down. Let's go do the other side. How easy is that? Very nice. All right, so we've got it all extended up as far as it will go. And as you can see, there's a really large back door here with a zipper on it. So we're gonna unzip this and get the inside set up. And then I'm gonna show you the, one of my favorite features of this tent. Check this out. Zipper action is nice and smooth. I love that in a tent, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna open up this door so I can work a little easier on the inside. Roll this open. You've got plenty of uh, little hooks here to keep your door open. Okay, good enough. There's another one up here on the top too, but I don't need to connect that one, it's just fine. Now I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the inside here to sort of match the, the truck bed. And that's that. All right, now at this point you could put your sleeping bags in, all your bedding, all that good stuff. But let me show you um, the feature that I like the best. Let's just take a look at that. I'm five foot eight, five foot eight and a half, and I can stand straight up in here. I have a soft topper that me and my son go camping in a lot, but you know, it's just a camper, and you can't stand up in that. This is awesome. It makes it so much easier when you need to change clothes and things like that. All right, so next, let's go ahead and put in that net. It's the cargo net for all of your gear. All right, here is the cargo net. Very easy to install for the other side. Perfect, very sturdy. All right, so we've got the cargo net installed here. There's plenty of room for whatever you wanna put up there, a light, whatever. If you didn't wanna put this up here, there's a hook up here too that you can attach like a lantern or something like that. Very nice. I love. I love uh, storage space in tents. And speaking of that, we've got a storage pocket here on the side. Uh, two pockets in one. And then we have another one over here on the other side. Lots of storage. Check this out too. On the very front here, if you have a sliding window on your truck in the back, then you've got access to that with this little zipper here. It's very nice, very convenient. So if you need to run you know, electric wires or whatever to charge your phone. You've got that convenient opening right there. Very cool, very smart. All right, now for my favorite feature about this tent. Look at this. A window here, and it's huge. A window up front. This is the side that's facing the back of my truck. Another one over here. And then, of course, the door on the back here has got a big window, too. So if you've got a nice night, and it's not too cold, and you open all these up, you've got the, you've got the screens, you know, the bug mesh. Bugs won't get in, but you oh, you can see the views, and the best part is you get plenty of good airflow through there. Good airflow through there. There's a the window. Huge. Let's open the one up here. 
Whoa. So huge window. That's facing the, the truck forward, of course. Got one on the side here, huge. And then let's, let's open this last one here. All right, let's go check it out from the outside. See those windows? They're huge. Looking in from the back here. Very nice. And it virtually goes all the way up to the very front of my pickup, to the very back. And I like that because you've got your tailgate that you can stand on when you get out of the tent and you could put your shoes there or whatever. That way you don't have to put them inside here. I'm loving this thing so far. All right, and yes, if you guys were wondering, this does come with a full rain fly. So I'm gonna zip the windows up and then put the rain fly on and let's see how easy that is. for the rain fly. Oh no! You know what? It's just me. It, I need a second person for this. I mean, it's kind of windy. If it wasn't windy, it'd be no problem. But it's not raining. I know this rain fly fits and it's really awesome. It's waterproof and all the good stuff. So if you're worried about weather, don't. If you got a second person or if there's no wind, you just put the rain fly on and you're good to go. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a 360 look at how this thing is on the truck. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I, I hope you saw how easy that thing was to set up. It was very, very easy with just one person in the back of my truck. This is, again, the Hickpeed full-size automatic pop-up truck tent. I can't wait to use it, test out the rainfly to see if it's waterproof. But yeah, very, very easy. And like I said earlier, a couple of reasons why you would consider getting one of these things if you are in an area that's not really ideal to put a tent down on the ground because it's too rocky or too muddy or something like that. This is the way to go right here. Another reason, you're up off the ground, so if you're afraid of creepy crawlies, and I know some of you are, another good reason to have one of these. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this thing helped you out. We'll see you next time.